Hey guys, this is Post Production Pi with srlounge.com. Let's move on to the Presets tab. Now in the Presets tab, we start with the default developed settings. And these are basically default settings for when you first import images into Lightroom. We have options to apply auto tone adjustments. I always turn that off and I also always turn off the apply auto mix when first converting to black and white. The auto tone adjustments is basically going to make it so uh, basically every image is is automatically toned based on what Lightroom thinks it should be. Now I turn this off because most of the time it doesn't get it where I want. So I set up a general preset for importing which we'll show you guys later on uh, and, and that's the preset that I use when I import my images. All right, so this uh, apply auto mix thing, when you first convert an image to a black and white, when you f first hit V, it'll apply an auto mix setting, and usually it gets that wrong too. So I always turn that off as well. Um, you have another option to make default specific to camera serial number. Now, this is actually pretty useful. If you guys shoot in a large studio, or if you shoot just in your studio, and say you use several different types of cameras, well, you can create default settings for each different kind of camera. So let's say one camera is maybe softer than another, or one camera has more colors than another, or whatever. You guys can create default develop settings for each specific camera serial number if you have this checked. Same thing to be able to create defaults specific to camera ISO settings. So you can create like noise reduction settings for when it was shot at 400 ISO, 800 ISO, 1600 ISO, and so on. Again, you have to have this checked, and we're gonna show you guys how to do that in later on this DVD. This is really kind of more advanced functionality inside Lightroom. If you guys get it to any point where you kind of change these settings and all your default develop settings are messed up, just click this reset option right here. Next thing, this location, store presets with catalog. Okay, I always turn this off. Why? Because all of your de uh, develop presets that are over here in the develop module, all these presets, if you turn that on, it's going to store every one of these presets inside of that catalog. Meaning when you start up a new catalog, all your presets are gone again. You got to bring your presets back into that specific catalog. The only time this is ever useful is if you're transferring a catalog to a computer that doesn't have those presets. But again, what I would recommend doing, I'm going to go back into my preferences by hitting control or command plus uh, comma. Go back to my presets tab. What I'd recommend doing is just copy those presets from computer to computer and it's easy to do because all you have to do is go into this presets folder and click the show Lightroom presets folder. This will automatically bring up in Finder or in your Windows uh, Explorer where the Lightroom presets are located. So if you have new presets that you have on your desktop, you just click into this folder and you drop in new developed presets right into here. So moral of story, I would always keep this store presets with catalog off. Next, Lightroom defaults. If you guys ever mess up anything when it comes to the file name templates, when it comes to filters, when it comes to whatever, you guys can always go into this presets tab and just reset out any of those to the factory default. I actually find myself rather often having to come in and restore local adjustments presets and file name templates because say other people that use my computer, they might kind of mess them up or they might use their own file name templates that I don't like or use brushes that I don't like and I just want to remove them out. So just click on it. It'll ask you if you want to restore it, click restore, and it's back to how it was at the default. All right, guys, let's go on to the external editing tab. 